friends, Kara here with Kinsley's Creative Palette. I look a hot mess today. Um, it has been a crazy, crazy, crazy day, and so I apologize. Um, I woke up at 5.30 this morning and had a message from um, Amy, my VA, that said, I'm panicking, get up! Um, and I haven't even gone back up to get dressed yet. So, we've been doing laundry and all the things. But, um, I did not want to miss Creative Tip Thursday today because I've got a really fun creative tip for you. I want to show you after three and a half years of painting and having all the brushes, which brushes I absolutely have to have in my little cup when I start painting. Okay, so I've narrowed it down. Um, if you just started painting, you may uh, find that you like other brushes better. I just wanted to show you my favorite. So here's the lineup, guys. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight brushes in my lineup. They do not come from the same packages, okay? That's that's um, very important. Um, so while I don't want to tell you to waste your money, good morning, love. Um, while I don't want to tell you to waste your money on a bunch of different packages, um, you will probably want to experiment and find what you like, okay? So these are what I like. This is my base coating brush. They sell these at Michael's. I'm sure they have them at Hobby Lobby. I know Walmart carries them, but my very favorite have plastic handles and I know that Michael's has these, okay? Dick Blick may have them too. And if you go to kinsleyscreativepalette.com, just like that, if you go to kinsleyscreativepalette.com, if you scroll down, there's actually a Rakuten link and if you use that Rakuten link and then shop at Dick Blick, you actually get money back on your purchase. And I think when you make a $30 purchase, um, Rakuten gives you $10. So anyway, that is um, another fun tip for you for today. Good morning, Miss Debbie and Miss Marissa. All right, so base coating brush. Friends, do you see how big this is? Like it's big. If I measure it, it's a good inch, like maybe even a little bit over. Okay, so I have this one, and then this one is smaller than my base coating brush, but it's bigger than my favorite um, all-over brush. So this one and this one, you can see they're both flat, uh, and I don't know, this is an artist loft, so this one came from Michael's, I believe. Hmm, but it doesn't have a number on it. Oh yeah, it does, hold on. It's a, See, I think it says it's a one, but I could be wrong. This one doesn't have a number. Okay, so I have these two. You can see I'm gonna, I started from bigger and I'm gonna go smaller. Those are two of your favorite too, yay! Okay, guys, and like I said, forgive my appearance today. I haven't even gotten dressed. We've been cleaning and um, it's summertime here. All right, now this one, these brushes, I don't know if y'all can tell, but they're triangular handled. They're so easy to hold. I love them to pieces, and I wish that all of these brushes came with this handle, but they don't. So, this brush right here is, oh gosh, it should have a number. I think it's a 5 8 um, It's a flat brush. It's a 5 8 and it is um, triangular handled. So, this one when I'm doing polka dots, and I, there are two different size polka dots that I really like. Hey, friends. Okay, so there's two different size polka dots I really like. This size and this size. But I don't like to use these. Okay, so I'm just showing you these for comparison. This brush makes this size polka dot. Okay, it's the same size as, oh, or about the same size. It's not exactly but it's about the same size as one of your paint bottles, the big bottles, okay? So this is the big bottle, all right? So in comparison, so I love this one for that. Now I'm gonna get out of order for a second so I can show you the other size paintbrush and what I use it for. So if you like the smaller polka dots like this, which some designs call for smaller and some for bigger, it just depends, this is the brush I use. To make this I know it doesn't seem like it works but it does and this one is um, it's the number 10 that comes good morning miss Sharon if I miss saying hi to you I'm so so sorry and um, this is another one of those triangular handled brushes 
Um, they come in a pack and you can buy them at Walmart. I have a few sets in stock and then um, sometimes Michaels has them. Okay, so that's what this is. But I wanna show you comparison wise, this right here. Um, <laughs> yes, funny to your right. Okay, this right here is about the same size. So you can see this size polka dot is about the size. Good morning, Miss Michelle. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you on here, love. Um, so this pouncer, which is significantly smaller than this big one, um, I use this brush to make the polka dot and it ends up about this size. So it's like the small paint can or paint bottle. I hope that, I hope that was helpful and not confusing. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to the brushes. So, so far, if you just joined us, we're talking about my favorite brushes. I have my base coating brush, which is a little over an inch. Then I have this, which is, it says it's a number one flat brush, but I get confused by the numbers. So, um, this is another flat brush that I love. So, it's a little bit smaller. Then we go down to the next size flat brush that I love, and this one is a 5 8 Is this? Oh, yay, Tony, that makes me so happy. Okay, so um, then I talked about, these are the two brushes I use to make polka dots. One of them is the 5 8 flat, and then the other one, it says it's a number 10 um, flat, and it is in the package of um, triangular handled. But I, like I said, I don't always um, really focus on the numbers. I kind of just look at the brushes and I'm like, ooh, that's a good one. Okay. Well, good morning, Miss Nikki. Okay. So I think I missed Catherine up there too. So good morning. All right. This one is called a one, a, a one half. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not really good with brush names and numbers. It's, it says it's an angular shader. And it is similar to the flat brush, but it has, but it's angled. So it's shorter over here and taller over here. Good morning, Miss Kimberly. All right. So I love that one. And that one is almost as big as the 5.8. All right. I've got three more brushes I want to show you. Now, the angular shader, I also like it in this smaller size. This is a number six, but it looks flat, but it's um, on a tilt. So it's an angled brush. Okay, and then there's two other brushes that I love and can't do without. This is one of them, and it just has a um, kind of a rounded tip, and it's pretty stiff, and it's a number six. Hey, sweet friend, it's good to see you too. Um, yeah, so I came on like no makeup, still in pajamas. I did change out of pajama pants and I put on like yoga pants so that it would be more professional. Um, but you know, we're summertime and like I've been up since 530 and we've been cleaning and reorganizing and working. So, <laughs> um, thanks love. Oh yes. Okay. So this is the last brush. It's hard to see, but it's very, very small. I think it says it's a number three. But it's a very tiny and somewhat stiff brush. So it doesn't, it, it has a little bit of mo movement to it, but not a lot, okay? The bristles do not really fan out, which makes this really good for small details. All right, so I'm going to go back through the lineup one more time. Favorite brushes. This one, my base coat brush, it's a little over an inch. And I'm so glad to, to see you too, babe. Um... Okay, my bullet story. Um, uh oh, which bullet story are you talking? I don't know which bullet story you're talking about. You'll have to expound on that, and I'll I'll tell you. I'm an open book, so I'll tell you anything. Um, and then there's this one, which is another flat brush, just a little bit smaller. Then I go down to this flat brush, which, friends, if you can find triangular handles, they are the bomb diggity. Oh, my near-death experience. Okay, before y'all stick on and I'll tell you my near-death experience. Um, and then, okay, so these are my three flat brushes that I adore. Uh, this one is a 5 eighths. This one is about an inch, and this one is bigger than an inch. Okay, so those are those first three. And then this flat brush... 
I use to make these smaller polka dots like this. So if you use a pouncer that's one and a quarter, this is the size brush, which this is a number 10 it says, um, that you would need. And I'm gonna put it up to my finger so you can see about how big it is. All right, um, and then if you just joined, this is the one I use to make this big, like one and a half, two inch, I think it's one and a half inch. Um, so that's my five eighths brush. Then I have two angled brushes that I love. This one is smaller than five eighths. No. And then this one is like maybe a quarter of an inch. And I have two of the more rounded detailed brushes. So these don't have a lot of give. I, they don't, meaning like their bristles don't fray out. I'm probably not using the right words because I'm not an artist, at, you know, like tr professionally trained. Um, but their bristles don't like fray out. So you have a lot more control. And this one is like just a rounded tip. And then this one is like long and skinny. And again, it does not give out a lot. So these are my favorite brushes. If y'all would like for me to, in the comments, um, I can go back and I can add a picture of all of them like laid out with the ruler on top, if that would be helpful. Okay, so just let me know if that would be helpful. Okay, friends, so um, my near death experience. We were visiting a dude ranch. I don't know if anybody knows what a dude ranch is. Way back in the day when I was um, probably middle school, I was probably my daughter's age. And my, uh, and I have multiple near death experiences. That's why I was like, I think that's the one she's talking about. Um, yes, I will do the picture. That's, that, and you know what, I'll set it up while I'm sitting here. Um, so anyway, we, um, we were at this dude ranch and my parents went golfing, I believe. And they left, there were a bunch of kids like that worked, okay, their parents worked at the dude ranch. And so they like spent the summer there, like just hanging out. Well, I became friends with them. They would kind of, you know, befriend all the kids that were there for the week. And we were playing cards in our little, it was like a, a condo, like cabin kind of thing um, on the property. And we're like playing cards and I've got these new friends and all of a sudden a bullet comes in through the window, skims the top, like moves the hair on the top of my head and hits the wall behind me. And it was right next to like a hunting lease. And I don't think they were supposed to be hunting at the time. But um, by the time my parents got back, on, we're driving their little golf cart, back to um, the little cabin, the police were there in their, you know, yellow tape. I mean, it was crazy town. So yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, you know, as long as you can live to tell the tale. Um, the sturdy brush. Um, uh, Michelle, <laughs> um, so Michelle, there's not a, okay, you may have picked up, um, after I started talking, these are all from different packs. Most of these come from, yes, most of these, um, come from different places. Like, I know Michaels carries these, these three, and I'm pretty sure that these came in a pack. They're an artist loft. And then these, <laughs> it probably was scary at the time, but now it's funny. Like, I mean, God saved me for something. So um, these are both, I don't know, they're gray handles and they're number six. But you kind of have to like, I don't want to say buy a bunch of brushes, but if you can't buy the brushes singly at like Hobby Lobby and you can't find the ones you like, you just kind of have to buy some packs and experiment. So I tend to prefer stiffer brushes because I, my paintings are more like polka dots and stripes and um, outlining. So I don't know if that's helpful, but I can't, none of my brushes have a lot of give. I don't like brushes like that. Now, if I were a true artist and I did, you know, paintings on canvas and all of those things, like I may want more, more brushes that like smoosh out or something, but that's not really the type of painting that I do. So I will take this picture for you guys. Thanks for joining me. Um, thanks for letting me come on with no makeup and a hot mess. Um, go back. Yes, absolutely. You will be able to go back. I'm going to post it right now 
and um, I'm gonna get back to doing all the things this morning and it feels like Friday but it's only Thursday so I'm hoping that that means tomorrow like I'll have all my stuff done and it'll be just a fun day with my family <laughs> so I love y'all appreciate y'all thank you so much for tuning in this morning I will post a picture in the comments so look for that and um, I will see y'all on Tuesday oh don't forget next Tuesday we will be, well, actually on the 1st, which I don't know what day of the week that is. On the 1st, we will be releasing the double flip-flop template for half off. So if you go to the website, guys, I don't process orders manually. So if you go to the website and you look at the double, like look up the flip-flop and find the double, because that is our project for that we'll be doing live, um, I'm going to do that template only in June for half off. That way, if you want to paint along with me anytime after June 1st at midnight, um, you will be able to grab that template for half off. And then you can cut it. You can meet me here. We can do all the things together next month. Well, I say next month. I guess it starts next month. Um, so next Tuesday, we will start that and we'll work through that project together. I'll post this picture and y'all have a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous day. Remember all my favorite products are in my Amazon affiliate store and on Dick Blick. Uh, you can find more information at kinsleyscreativepalette.com. Just scroll down the page and you'll see, um, you'll see it there. And I would love it if y'all would sprinkle this video and help another crafter um, figure out which brushes he or she might need. And I'll see y'all next week. Bye friends. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather.